Hey, it's Adam from Collection DX, and today I am reviewing from the St. Cloth Myth line probably the coolest release from the St. Cloth Myth line that I have personally handled so far. And uh, it is, of course, God of Death Thanatos. And uh, this is actually the first God Cloth we've actually seen them do so far. So it's a big one. This box is huge. Let me uh, get for scale. This is a pretty average size box. Let me get it. Got an Excellus figure for scale here. If you don't know what an Excellus figure is, you're not a cool kid. So there you go. That's an average size St. Cloth Myth box. And this is God of Death. He's a big one. It's those wings in there. And uh, just kind of crack it open. This is a standard St. Cloth Myth box, window box. Opens up so you can get a good look at what's in there. Let's get that. And, oh boy, I cannot wait to get it out of the box. So I'm going to go do that right now, and I'll be back after uh, I've busted some stuff out. And here we are. Just want to give you a slightly better peek at all of the accessories. So, of course, uh, two trays. Of course, we have the figure itself, uh, shoulder pieces, multiple hands. As you can see, always a staple. The Saint Cloth Myth line never ever skimps on accessories. Trust me, they always just top notch. So. Take a look at this guy. There's the wings in there. Those are huge. Huge, I say. Even include uh, Thanatos' harp. If you haven't seen the series, then you're like, why the hell does the god of death have a harp? Well, he has a harp. He plays it in his off time when, he, when he's hanging out with the little nymphs in Elysium, which is the uh, Roman sort of heaven, the Elysian, Elysian fields. Uh, there's a uh, second body. This one, this cloth in general, does not turn into a statue per se, but they give you sort of a dummy mannequin with the stand to display it, you know, sort of in the being worn mode without having to be worn. Oh boy, isn't it pretty. It sure is. I will say, uh, right off the bat, getting the outfit on them is a bit of a time-consuming process. Um, but, you know, that's that can generally be the case with the St. Cloth Myth figures. The armor is so intricate, and obviously you've got these heavily layered, plated pieces. Uh, they're a little finicky to get on, but just be patient, take your time, and you'll eventually get them on. And, Whatnot. I am not going to put them on a rotating stand this time around just because the wingspan is so big, especially with the uh, wings out, that uh, he really won't balance on the stand without falling over. And I really don't want that to happen to my poor little god of death. But uh, as you can see, guys, it is beautiful. Yeah, those wings are huge. I wanted to give you guys on the video a chance to see that. Each of these individual plates do fan out. These pieces here are pretty static. Um, we are on a... You won't, may not be able to see it, but the backpack has pivots, so these will turn. And uh, it's impressive. Now would be a good time for me to recommend that if you've begun to collect any of the St. Cloth Myth figures, they do, Bandai makes an aftermarket stand for the figures. Basically, it's a base and a tree in the back and a clip that goes around the waist. Um, figures in general, especially in the neutral poses, will stand without fear of falling out. Uh, they're highly posable. And if you want to get a more dynamic look on the figures, or you're just worried about walking past your display case and them falling out, you may really want to uh, consider getting some of those stands. And uh, I think next time around I'm actually going to make sure I order some. 
because um, I'm getting to that point where I've got enough of these figures sitting on the shelf that I'm getting to worry, you know, if one ghost takes a swan dive, it may take several with them. So uh, we're going to break this out, show you the different outfits, different modes. I'm going to change the wings, get them on the stand so you can get a better look at the costume. But I did just kind of wanted to show you right out of the gate what he looks like with the wings spread out. And as you can see, it's impressive. The... Uh, the paint detail is really, really nice. There's one or two spots where there's like some smudging or some chipping that's happened. It was kind of how it was coming out of the box. Again, Bandai does mass produce the St. Cloth Myth line, so as top notch as they are occasionally, you're going to get a flaw or two. But uh, as you can see, it's really nothing really to complain or grouse about. So it's pretty. It's so pretty. I think it's hands down the finest St. Cloth Myth figure I have gotten to date. Matter of fact, I'm going to say right now, thanks to Ken at Angles.com. And I get a lot of emails. Apparently, y'all just don't. English isn't your first language, or you're just not listening to me. Uh, I get asked all the time where I get my St. Cloth Myth figures. And Angles.com, A N G O L Z. Dot com has been nice enough to kind of step up and sponsor the St. Cloth Myth Reviews. And basically that means that in exchange for some advertising on the site, they are nice enough to send over a couple of these guys every month. And uh, i got to say, if it wasn't for those guys, I wouldn't have tried the series out. I've been very, very happy with it. I really enjoyed it, and I'm all caught up. And uh, even if you don't watch the series, some of these figure designs are just extraordinary. So, before I move on to the next step here, let's talk about die cast real quick. It's hard to see here with the skirt on, but the um, leg armor is all die cast, feet are die cast, um, plate here, plates here, die cast, chest piece die cast, forearms, uh, the bicep armor, all die cast. The rest of them is plastic, all the skirting pieces, the wings. Um, but still has a real nice, he's got a nice weight to it. He's very hefty. And uh, like I keep saying, it's beautiful. So let's uh, get some stuff swapped around and show you some other things about the figure. And just wanted to show you, they do include a stand. It doesn't form an object like other St. Cloth Myth characters, the saints and... Uh, their armors tend to represent zodiac signs or constellations, and uh, the god of death doesn't. Act, we, I, from what I can tell in the manga series and what's been shown so far in the OVAs, um, I don't think we're ever going to see his cloth off of him. But um, they do include a stand so you can really display the beauty of the armor uh, without the character in it. And, um, I will say this is a big gripe of mine. Um, would have been really nice had Bandai included the ability to basically use this base and these feet, which are die cast and very similar to the feet on him, uh, but they're designed to plug into the base so that you could display him, you know, with everything out and perfect and having the wings as grand looking as you can without fear of the figure falling over. But for some reason, Bandai, the feet pieces have die cast plugs, pins that go into holes in the in the ankle, so to speak. They went backwards on this and this it has the plug, so the pieces are incompatible. Had they just done that one little design thing and flipped that around so you could have replaced this mannequin body with the character body, would have been awesome. Big misstep. But anyway, so there is his headpiece. Yes, one side is larger than the other. He is part of sort of a unholy triumvirate um, Thanatos and his brother Hypnos, who looks very similar, except the armor is has gold in silver, gold in uh, trim instead of the purple black like he has. And uh, one is the right and left hand man of Hades, who is sort of our main villain who's trying to overtake Athena's realm during the storyline. Um, they sit on either side of Hades, so their fins display a certain way when Hades is in the mix. Hades we have not seen in the OVAs yet, but that's coming in the next few episodes. So 
Uh, I expect we'll see a Hades figure at some point and a Hypnos figure to complete this set. And so, when looking at the pictures, just wanted to point out, no, it's not broken. It's in, yeah, the design's unbalanced, but it's there because of the way they kind of display and pose and blah, blah. But, uh, cool stand nonetheless, and uh, we're going to get our way to there. But first, we're going to show you him and his sort of robe and harp and all that fun stuff. And here is, of course, its statue mode. As you can see, it's a beauty. And they give you, like I was saying earlier, that alternate body that attaches to the base. And there's some extra parts and pieces to kind of help everything flare out properly. Yeah, that's a big sucker. Uh, whether you collect St. Cloth Myth or not, this one is a no-brainer. If you like die-cast armor, it's a beauty. Let's get that in here. It is well worth picking up. It's uh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I got no nothing but good things to say about it. Hands down the nicest St. Cloth Myth figure I've gotten my hands on yet. And I'd say you can get yours too at angles.com. However, as of right now, this moment, as I'm working on the review, they have sold out for the second time. So this may become the St. Cloth figure you wish you had bought when you had the chance. So till next time, I'm Adam.